Hello everybody, welcome back to tutorial number two on this palette focus of the beautiful, gorgeous, one and only Utopian Dream. So the last tutorial I actually did, what is it, Cosmic Bloom, this one, a little, this doesn't get as, a, as deep as I would love it to be, is that a zit? This is it. Um, mm, so that's why I did the big black wing liner which i messed up on so we're gonna disregard that but the look still came out beautiful this uh, it is an artistry palette meaning there are some colors in here that are going to do a little bit of staining so these actually did just a skew tad bit of a stain on my eyes but besides that it came off pretty easy um i'm in a lot of back pain right now but today for tutorial number two i think i want to do something very classic Hollywood. And I think we're gonna keep it very, very simple today. And I think I am gonna do another wing liner, but it's a beautiful summer day, finally. Um, not getting hot, but it's getting colder. Gotta love the Netherlands. So far, I mean, with the one look I've done so far with this palette, I kind of feel like moving forward, a lot of it's gonna be very redundant for some reason, especially with the warms, um, the bronzes, there's really no, I mean, is there even that big of a dif differentiation between the two bronzes? I don't even know what this bronze is called. But I figured for this one, I start posting up more of, yeah, so that's what that looks like. Eh, maybe, maybe, we'll see. But we're gonna play around. Today, I wanna do more of a classic Hollywood, keep it very simple. I think I just might do the skin shade and maybe this, and maybe this in the crease. So we'll see, we'll keep it very ethereal-ish. And then let me go prep my eyes and we'll get into this tutorial. All right, so the eyes are prepped. Let me fix this real quick. Um, I think they are sisters. I hope they're sisters. We, will, we shall see, but I like to give credit where credit is due. So I was watching, oh gosh, Midnight Sun tutorials. Of course, my all time favorite, Alicia Archer. Alicia Archer. Um, but also, Julia Adams also popped up. And I have huge FOMO. And I really hate the fact that my package was lost. I probably won't be ordering any more palettes from Pat McGrath unless it shows up here at Douglas. Besides the point, um, Julia Adams actually did a classic Hollywood type of look with it. She did, I think, three to five different looks with that palette. And I actually kind of want to do a series of like a classic Hollywood. And it was basically like this color in the Midnight Sun was kind of the crease. And then um, this all over the lid. And then she used one of the astral shades. So I figured... Eventually, I want to do a series like that, but this is inspired by Julia Adams. Is it Julia Adams? Yes, Julia Adams, I'm pretty sure. So, first and foremost, we're going to go in with this one. Uh, I need to clean my brushes also. Gosh, nabbit. Let me go ahead and go in with... The fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that right into my crease with this blush nude going on here. Just really lightly put it in. Just like that. Uh, let me go uh, with a fluffier brush and just go ahead and start to blend that out. Because I just wanted a whisper like she did in the video right on the crease. And this is definitely more of a true type of mauve. Which is kind of what I was expecting Divine Rose, uh, the blush, to be more like. Obviously, but it comes out more pinky than a true cool tone mauve, in my opinion. Perfect. Actually, you know what? Let me clean this brush before I go any further. Oh, 
think all the paydays coming up. But so far, the Utopian Dream is. I will say my all-time favorite mothership is definitely number three, the subversive, because it's just a classic. It is just such a true form of form and definition of Pat McGrath's artistry, which I love. Perfect. All right, so just gonna blend everything out. This is a It Cosmetics. I think this is their concealer brush actually, but I always use it for eyeshadow just to buff out everything. Got a good old buff. All right, next, going in with the Skin Show Nude, just gonna go on my fingertip and just pat that down. Ooh, oh, sh this is pretty. This is really nice. This is really nice, y'all. She cute, y'all. I might use the eyeshadow as a blush, actually. Perfect. And just begin to tap it into the crease a little bit, just so it kind of blends in with the uh, crease color. And then it's good. Whatever's not left over, but go and tap back in lightly to do the brow bone. Ooh, ooh, she's doing something, that's for sure. And then, actually, let's go ahead and go back in with my MAC hanging on the prayer brush. Literally hate it. You know what, it's payday coming up this week, so I think I need to buy a new fluffy brush, that's for sure. But this is where we are at. Very cute. And just... Define a little bit, just a little bit. The crease. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, oh. I think they look like sisters. Defining the crease just a little bit more. And then uh, let's go in with this one. Let's put it right. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh. That light just takes it to the, oof. Not all over the lid, but just enough to have, oh my God, some twinkle, twinkle. It's stuff like this that makes the palette worth the price sometimes. Let me go ahead and do a wing and we will be back and I'll show you where we are and then I will continue with the face. All right, so this is where we are at. I really need to work on my liner. I was definitely rushing it. But this reflection though, oh my word. Like this is just so, hmm. Hmm, gorgeous. So let me go and do the rest of my face. As usual, uh, like I said in my last video, I'm gonna continue to use M18. It's a little bit darker than my actual color right now, but I am actually losing my tan, so there's that whole situation going on. Because it would be nice if the Netherlands would get this weather together so I could actually get my tan. But for the most part, like, you know, you can see it coming off a little bit. It is, it is what it is. I'm going to work with it. Roll with the punches. But uh, let me go and do the rest of my face. But, ooh, this is like really, really saucy. All right, see you guys in a moment. All right, so this is the final look. I mean, isn't she saucy? She's so saucy. Going in with a dab, just a dab of that. Just a dab. Oh, ho! coming in with the dad jokes. So here we are. Utopian Dream tutorial number two. For blush, bronzer, I did Bronze Dawn. No, 
Desert Glow. Desert Glow. Medium 18. Uh, LM14 for concealer. I actually mixed this with this for blush. This is highlight, obviously, to keep it going with the same flow. I mean, for a classic Halloween, obviously, it's not classic Halloween. But the idea is that this shine is just so... Oh, it's just so beautiful. Lips is the Opulus Lip Gloss and Pale Fire Pale Fire Nectar. Pale Fire Nectar. Um, granted, it's been about three weeks since I played with makeup, so my techniques are a little off, obviously. But um, I really, really wish I was this tanned. Um, yeah, I mean the. Overall color story of this so far is very. I could see the hues in this for sure, and that whole story behind it being called Utopian Dream. You definitely have different types of hues with the astral shades, that's for sure, because those are really going to change this color story to a different type of aesthetics, which is beautiful. <clears throat> As usual, the first six are obviously more of just the. Uh, like this is beautiful. I do like that. But obviously the showstopper moneymaker is going to be these four. This is probably the first time we start to get more of a pressed. Pressed. Pressed eyeshadow as far as the four special shades. Ooh, I should have done that. Oops. Um, I don't know if it's a lack of... Oh, God, look at that one. The amethyst, astral amethyst. That's just picking up the. Oh my god, that's gonna be a fun color to play with. Uh, a lack of material sources or with everything going on due to COVID, whatever, blah blah blah, yada yada. But that was the first pressed astral baked formula. I mean, even the two. Um, what do you call it? Bridgerton six pan palettes. Those actually had uh, baked astral shades in those also. Oh, I forgot about those ones. One was kind of like a blue diamond of first water, and the second one was kind of like a rose gold. I mean, I mean, look at that. Ooh, ooh. Um, and I know right now the whole hysteria is not having the astral shades. Yes. But I'm also kind of over the astral shades. We have gotten plenty of different types of astral shades over the course of the decade. But to get rid of your staple is pushing it. But for the Utopian Dream, the three astral shades that are baked and stuff like that is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, especially the bronze. I'm curious to do that. The bronze always looks the same because the moment you put it on the face... Are the eyes these always tend to turn out looking the same so I'm very curious as to how this will be a lot more different from what was the one from Rose Divine Rose 2 I did a look tutorial with that one too it was, it was a beautiful bronze I'm not gonna lie but it's just it's very it's been done so this is utopian dream tutorial number two I hope you guys are getting inspired pull it out Yes, it is almost fall, and I'm pretty sure by the time I start posting these, it's going to be like holiday season in September, maybe, when I post this, or October, so. But, I'm keeping it from a distance because I'm really embarrassed by the uh, liner, so let me just show you this side. <laughs> but this is, this is the, this is the color story so far, so. As usual, go to my Instagram page to see the final edits of this. So now I got to take pictures and I need to get ready to go to the gym slash work and study some Dutch today. Oh, I forgot to cut my nose hair. See you guys next video.